flight crew, are we ready? Hey, okay, Daddy. Uh, Roger. Uh, uh, Geronimo. Prepare for launch. Countdown. Three, two, one. Blast off. Yes, I hate to break up this moon mission, gang, but Colonel Stevens and I have an ordinary Earth rendezvous at the Blakes. Ready in a minute, honey. I know it's painful for you to give up your command, Colonel Stevens. Uh, but be brave. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, Aunt Clara, you got everything straight? Oh, yes, 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 of course, I think so. Now, let me see. The um, Blake's telephone number is uh, in the icebox, and the uh, glass of milk is um, pinned to the bulletin board. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> I've got an idea. Instead of letting your Aunt Clara babysit, why don't we stay home until Tabitha's 21? <laughs> good night, Aunt Clara. We'll be home early. Roger. Well, have a good time. <laughs> and everything's O-A-K. <laughs> One more flight, and we're off to bed. Countdown, one, two. Oh, excellent, Tabitha, excellent. Oh, you're a better spaceman than Dr. Spock. <laughs> well, never mind, I'll get it, and then off to bed. Saucer, you come right back here. <laughs> Flying saucer in darkest night. Harky, land within my sight. It's still big. <laughs> Tabitha, it's definitely past your bedtime. Come near. <laughs> but I'll be back. Fine mess you got us into this time. It's not my fault, Alpha. The controls are frozen. You're the navigator, aren't you, dummy? <laughs> One minute we're flying over Perinthia, and then pow, we're a million miles away in outer space. <laughs> There's one thing, though. There is life on other planets. They speak Perinthian, too. The question is, are they dangerous? Don't worry, Orvis. We have our end guns for protection. 